Hi, I am Rico Cruz. I am an engineer with uh, the Web Services Core Group of uh, NetBeans and Sun Microsystems. I will be demonstrating how you could use NetBeans to create RESTful web services using uh, per persistence entity classes. I will also demonstrate how you could uh, compose RESTful web service resources using well-known uh, resources such as Google Maps. Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate how we could use NetBeans to create RESTful web services. If you look at the screen, I have a regular web application called the Customer DB. First thing I want to do is to create entity classes from an existing database. So I will create entity classes from a database. So I bring up that wizard, it prompts me for the database that I'm going to use. I select all the tables in that database. Uh, I will have to create a persistence unit since I haven't done that before. The, the, the package and the wizard creates the entity classes corresponding to each table in the database. Okay, So at this point, I'm ready to create the REST uh, resources that will constitute our RESTful web services. I will invoke the uh, REST web services from entity classes wizard. I will select all entity classes, click on finish, and it will generate uh, the uh, uh, resource classes that will constitute the RESTful web services. Okay, let, let me just uh, quickly uh, show you, display to you uh, the generated code for these resources. We have the, for example, the converter class for, for the customer resource. Uh, as you can see, these are basically JAXP annotated classes. The more interesting classes are the services classes. And if you notice the uh, uh, generation pattern, we have a container slash containee uh, uh, generation pattern. What I mean by that pattern is that there is a container that contains entities. In this case, for example, customers with an S, customers resource will contain customer without an S resource. If we look at uh, one of those classes, you will notice that it will have the uh, JSR 311 annotations. For example, a URI, URI template designates it as a URI, which can be invoked uh, uh, via the RESTful method of invoking web services. Uh, there's also annotations for uh, what HTTP method uh, uh, you could use to, to invoke these services. For example, get and put. And there is also annotations for uh, specifying what kind of MIME types uh, are supported uh, by these services. For example, this, uh, this method here says that it is producing the MIME type application XML. We are now ready to uh, deploy and, uh, and uh, test these services. What's happening underneath the covers is that uh, the uh, IDE is packaging the, uh, the web application uh, the JSR annotation, 311 annotations are being processed and all the entities are being generated and deployed into the application server. At the end of the deployment, a test client UI will be displayed, which will allow for the convenient navigation of these resources.